soon to be $4 or $6. I decided to change my prices because I've been on Patreon for two years. That's the first thing. It's time to raise the prices. And on top of that, now that I'm making it my business to make everything one hour long, it's time to raise my prices, but just to a dollar. And once I raise my prices, I will be keeping my prices for that for at least another year or two. So after two years, I think it's time to raise, you know, so that's what I will be doing. Um, also too, I've been getting a lot, not a lot, let me stop acting like I'm someone special because it's not that serious, but, um, there's so many loud sounds outside because there's so many deliveries being delivered as far as like flowers and balloons and stuff, but, um, I've been getting some shout outs or recognition from other channels and I'm, I'm loving it because I am surprised that I made it on anybody's list, like, at all. Stop three, five, hell, if I made it on anyone's list, whether I'm number 90 or 99, I am incredibly grateful. And the fact that you're sharing it on your actual channel is, is amazing. But the point of this is I am known for, because I have, people also send me stuff and I need to start writing down people's channels just to think them on camera. But, um, Thank God. Anyway, one of the one of them, well, two of them said they like my channel because I'm basic, and I effing love that because you know I always tell people here I don't like role plays. There's something about role plays for me that I just it's just uncomfortable. I don't like role plays. I think if I'm trying to sleep, I don't want you. I don't want like Cinderella in my face, and I don't you acting like you're my girlfriend or boyfriend like no i want you to read me to sleep or let me listen to you and fall asleep i'm not here for the costumes and for like you know um i'm, I'm just not here for it and i'm not knocking anyone that does it it's just it doesn't work for me i'm not that's not what my ASR, asmr is about and that's not what got me into asmr role plays, um, aggressive gum chewing, um, aggressive like tapping sounds or louds, it's not for me, which is why I don't do many on my channel, I might do like, you know, the, the wiping of the face like this, you know, like hand movements, I might, um, do a little bit of eating, I did, um, white covered straw in my last video I do gum chewing but none of it is aggressive none of it is um, like I will never eat on camera and you see stuff in my mouth like I most likely will cover my mouth because it's just not for, and I'm not eating like 15 lobster tails and I'm just not doing it on this channel it's just not gonna happen that is not this type of channel I love to read an audible um, close-up. I like to entertain. And so I, I say all of that to say I know I'm not labeled as a real ASMR channel. And that has been from people telling me this. But in actuality, I like my channel as it is. I like to talk. I like to ramble. And I love to laugh and make other people laugh. I am not a comedian at all. But I do feel as if some of these topics are funny and I've also been through a lot of shit in my life and I'm not embarrassed to like let you guys in on it. Some things I do wait for Patreon because the internet can be a really mean place. But I've been through so much and some of it is just plain stupidity, but anyway, so I'm not really sure where I was going with that with, but I just wanted to mention it for some strange reason, I don't know, but we are 10 minutes into this video, and I haven't even started the actual video.
video so oh by the way I actually uploaded a black history month videos I actually recorded three of them and for some strange reason um, the first one was blocked by YouTube and I'm not sure why I actually don't have a effing clue why and I'm actually trying to stay off YouTube's radar because with this second channel, I haven't had not one problem, not one email from YouTube, nothing. So I'm not completely sure. And I'm not sure if I want to try to push it through because, again, we lost the first channel and that almost tore me apart. So um, I'm going to try another video and see what happens. But I am amazed that I cannot get my Black History Month videos out because I know next week is like basically the last week of Valentine, um, Valentine's of February and I wanted to get the three videos out but that blocking of the first one I, I don't know about that I don't know what's going on um, like I said I really don't want to get into any issues with YouTube but I will try one more time but I will do a different video and I think I will try to post it next this coming Sunday for next week if not if they don't go through then I will think of a plan B but anyway um I need to right okay so we're about 12 minutes and okay just so I can timestamp this because I rambled a lot so this next portion of the video is just messy Valentine's Day stuff. Um, let's see. It's like the craziest. Um, it's actually titled. Oh, people are sharing. Like, you know, when you're like, oh, 
what? Oh, oh, okay, you mean that Alice? Oh no, that bitch is crazy. And then you want to come over to my house on the 11th or 12th at that with Valentine's Day stuff, like get out of here. And then you're going to tell me, oh, I don't feel guilty. I just wanted to know that girl should have broke up with him right then and there as soon as she got the screenshots. But you know, that's a lesson of, of being young, you know? Next story, I was 20 years old and had been dating my boyfriend for almost a year at Valentine's while we both were in a university. He bought me roses and took me to dinner at a fancy restaurant. He ordered a very expensive bottle of champagne, way out of his usual budget. He was nervous and twitchy, so warning bells were going off in my head. Once the champagne was poured, he reached into his jacket and pulls out a velvet ring box. At the age of 20, if I saw that, I would have probably passed out. In my head, I'm screaming, oh no, 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 no. I was not ready for marriage, especially with him. He leans across the table, opening a box of a diamond and an emerald ring. So basically, he had like a diamond box, but it was an emerald ring. I was freaking out, wanting to stop him before he asked a question. I practically lunged across the table, <laughs> grabbed the ring box, ring box, babbling. What a gorgeous ring. You know Emerald is my birthstone. What a beautiful Valentine's gift. I put the ring on my right hand, held it up in his face, and practically screamed at him. Look how amazing it looks on my right hand. His face, his face crumpled, and he told me he was glad I liked the ring. He spent a lot of time choosing it. was very tense after that. We drank the bottle of champagne and another bottle of wine. I cringed so hard every time I remember this. We dated for another three months until I broke it off because I knew I wasn't being fair to him. I didn't feel the same way as he did. You know, that's the most mature thing to do. I don't understand females who take an engagement ring knowing that they have no intentions of marrying this person or like, I don't know. I just think it's ignorant. I think a lot of times females get wrapped up in this whole, oh my God, someone proposed to me. Oh, I got a ring. But there's also feelings that come with that. You know what I mean? By the way, New York weather is so bipolar. Last week we had 56, it was like 56, 55 degrees. Why I wake up today? It's 19. Moving right along. For my only Valentine's Day with my ex boyfriend. I wrote him over 20 original poems and hand wrote them in a notebook with a custom cover that I had painted myself. In return, I received a plastic grocery bag containing a shirt I already owned that I let him borrow and a shirt of his for me to borrow. I also paid for Valentine's Day dinner. Like, no. I, like, no, we're not doing that. Like, I'd rather you not get me anything than doing stuff like that. In one of my videos, I mentioned that I had an asshole actually go down to, like, a shell store. It, or it was a mobile. It was a gas station. And brought the most cheapest looking gift they can possibly find. Like, now you're just messing with my intelligence. Like, I'd rather you have just said I forgot 
was so miserable, miserable. The first thing, like if I ever get a reaction like that, the first thing I have to ask the guy is, did you change anything? Or did you get a new soap? Or, cause let's face it, I know it's not for me. I'm not promiscuous. I'm not out here sleeping with double men, triple men. I'm just not the one for it.
funny story. My mother and I, we went to, I think it was, oh, we were in Aruba, and I think that was 2018. I want to say we went to Aruba. Anyway, my mother can swim. I'm a phenomenal swimmer. She cannot. So when it comes to the water, I have to, I have to follow my mom's rules. And the funny thing is, I hate, I hate beach water, but I love pool water. My mom loves beach water, but hates pool water. So you see where we have a problem when it comes to like this, but we do our best. We always, we do both. I hate the beach, but I was, and she likes to sit there. See, my mother likes to, like a little kid. She likes to pull up where like the water comes up and she likes to sit there so the so she can splash herself with the water. Cool off everything else. See me, I'm sitting there with her, but I'm too busy picking off seaweed. I'm too busy figuring out if that's a real like crab or like if there's like animals or critters in the water. Like I'm more like that. I I, I cannot enjoy myself and water on me. I'm too busy spitting out the salt water. I, it's just not for me. It's not for me. And then we have to get up and then we go to my area, which is the pool area. Point of this entire story is I was like, I'm done. I can, I felt the sand everywhere. I was like, mom, I'm done. We've been out here for probably like five hours now. It was the morning. No, we got there maybe like 10 yeah, it was about 3 or 4 o'clock and I was like, I had enough and I'm hungry we packed up the time we packed up and actually got back on the steps I had to stop at one of those like shower thingies that you wash yourself off with I, like sand was just falling out of places and you know one thing about me too like when I go on vacation, I don't care if my hair gets wet I, I don't care that stuff. I just go in the hotel room and wash it and throw it up in a bun I don't care but I was trying to rinse out my hair but it was my it was my butt area and my boom boom that was on fire like those little crystal things oh, every walk was torture and my mother was trying to return the, the chairs and the towels or whatever and I'm like yeah I'll meet you back at the room I gotta go and I'm walking and all of a sudden I hear my mom laughing because it's the way I was walking. You would think I had a diaper on full of shit. And I was just like, because I, I just couldn't with the rubbing. And I'm in um, I'm in the elevator and people are, you know, everyone in Aruba is so nice. And everybody wants to talk and I'm just like, uh, yes, oh, you're having a good time. Well, great. And I'm just like looking like the, le the 11th floor can't come fast enough. I get to the room and I go straight to the bathroom. When I tell you, when I took off my bathing suit, I never in a million years figured out how much sand. And then I went into the shower, more clumps. I was washing my hair and, and, and just everything. I had to actually, my mother and I actually had to clean out the tub before she got in it to take a shower. And she had the same problem as far as like, and you hear it like when she was in the shower. I'm just hearing the clumps of sand <laughs> that is just falling out of place. <laughs> Our room, I, I, I couldn't do it. I had to call room service. And I said to them, this might be an odd request, but I need all my sheets changed. I need the, the room vacuumed. I need my, my, my um, bathroom done. And she laughed and she's like, and, and, and the lady's laughing and my mother now's at the shower and she's apologizing for my actions and I'm looking at her and I'm like why are you apologizing for my actions and the lady was like oh it's fine you'll be surprised on how many people but I'm still stuck I'm like why is my mom apologizing for me my mom is under the impression that it's because of my OCD absolutely not our hotel room was an absolute mess and then when my mother finally got the whole shift of the picture and she's like oh majestic now i see why you called absolutely like our room was a effing mess with sand i never went back to the beach after that she did i did not i stayed my little ass by the pool but no it's oh so painful so painful anyway guys let me get out of here um that is it for this video i hope you enjoy and i hope to see you in the next one which most
slightly. 